we've got our gold medalist, Josh Hansen. Silver medalist, Jeremy McGrath. Bronze, Josh Grant. You guys are ready? You guys don't mind kind of passing around the microphone? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Or you can keep it in and slide it over, whatever is easiest. We'll just start. I think we're just going to go with questions. That's people who remember they're going to go to, actually. Oh. Is that all right? Yeah. That one doesn't work. If you want to keep whatever you want to do, if you want to pass it over, if you Questions? Yeah, actually, uh, you know, that, it definitely came down to the start because everybody was running a pretty good pace. You, you couldn't really get going too fast out there. I mean, you know, overriding the track is, is definitely where you where you end up making big mistakes. So it's kind of like you just kind of have to settle and be consistent and do each obstacle and just really just carry good fluid momentum. And, and I really lucked out on my start, actually. JG actually got the start and, and uh, the slick kind of pushed him out wide, so I kind of gave it up. But uh, I don't know if it's good to be up. Josh, did you kind of surprise yourself? I saw you take a look over on the coming down the straightaway on the start. You know what? Like I, I definitely knew like I had to get a start. I, I'm, I've always been pretty good at starts, but uh, definitely, I mean, I, I kind of I had a good spot on the line, but I had a pretty big bump in it, so I was kind of worried about that. But I don't know. I made it happen and. Uh, Kind of left out a little bit off the start, you know, and that, that made everything a lot easier. Jeremy, down when uh, you and Bill were in the, the hairpin down there, was there any contact, or did you just kind of pressure him? And just well, I mean, <clears throat> we didn't really make any contact. He, he did come inside me, past me, and I luckily I got to kind of do a move that I would try to do on Grant earlier when I tried to tuck under him and we kind of collided. But I got underneath him and was able to force him out of his line, and then. You know, got a little lucky with him making a mistake. I think he, someone said he clipped a hay bill or something like that, but uh, bike shot straight across the front of me. I was like, whoa. So, um, you know, got a little lucky. I mean, I think everyone probably got a little lucky. The track was pretty hard, pretty hard to ride. It was really slick, and like Josh said, easy to override. How slick was the, the sweep around the finish line? Uh, you know, that was my nemesis the whole weekend. I, I felt like I was decent on the track and able to hang with these guys. and. Uh, I was pretty slow in the sweeper. It was really slick, and uh, I, I, I mean, I pushed the front tire many times throughout the race, and you know, I knew that it would probably come to someone gaining on me right there, but there's nothing really I could do about it. I, I was just trying to be consistent and uh, rather than fall down real slick. But you know what? I, I'm glad they didn't water. It was really slick and dusty, but had they watered, it would have been a disaster. So the guys did, as, as bad as, as slick as it was, the guys did a good job on the track. Trying to jump, yeah, trying to jump the jumps with water. Major. Uh, you have some motivation to show these young guys that still have it. You know what? I I don't know if I still have it or you know. I mean, it's it's nice and we we got a few you know a few gifts out there with hill crashing and you know Sunny came inside me and I just kind of played it smart. I think all my experience really helped me. Um, obviously, my starts were were great. Um, it was a bummer that I collided with Josh Grant in the first heat because, um, you know, it takes the pressure off for sure to qualify out of the heat, but that didn't happen. So I ended up running 20, well, 23 laps right in a row. So I was, I'm pretty worked right now. Well, I mean, yeah, just to get a medal was, you know, it was awesome for me. It was just a uh, you know good experience to come out here and just uh, have fun. But uh, yeah, you know it was good. The track was uh, a little tough, like you know like these guys had said, and you know just uh, just excited to be up here. How far back did you start? Um, well, I had a good jump, got off the gate really good, came in the first turn first, but uh, just because it was so slick, I just slid all the way to the outside, and uh, you know four four or five guys got around me, and I just stayed where I was at really, and you know started. Uh, you know, Sonny and, uh, and the other guys made a mistake, and you know, I luckily got around him, and then I made a mistake, and you know, went down and fell off uh, the step on step off. So to get up from that and then come back to third was good. Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of it for a little while. 
Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. It's uh, it would be nice to see those guys out here, but you know, uh, someone like James, of course, is running a perfect season right now in the motocross series, and uh, I'm sure Kawasaki doesn't want to uh, kind of take a chance on messing that up. Um, but you know what? Uh, with those, some of the fastest guys in the world aren't here. Thanks for better racing. So um, you know, you guys see all your long guys like Stewart, RC, and Reed. Uh, you know, pull away from everybody, and I mean, I'm a fan of the sport. I love the sport. It's done a lot for me, but it gets kind of boring. So um, it's nice to see everyone battle. Down on the floor interview, it's been a rough few months. What does this mean to you? Uh, it means everything. It definitely, uh, I definitely needed it for sure to kind of get back on my feet again. I mean, obviously, it isn't, it isn't the super cross like where I need to be winning championships, but I mean, I'll take it wherever I can. And I'm, I'm just stoked. Uh, actually, had Jeremy you know, help me out a lot in the past couple weeks, and I thank him and everybody at Honda. And I don't know, I had a good opportunity, and I took advantage of it. And, that's that, and I'm just I'm stoked to, to definitely get my name back out there. I think a lot of people, I think, uh, weren't expecting it, so it's it's good, definitely. Uh, no, no, it was like fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Keith Johnson won the speed stall today. What's the good base of tricks? Getting fouls to make a name out there. Can you guys consider doing the speed stall next year to add another medal? Once I learn how to flip, maybe. <laughs> it, it seems like the racers kind of got to the main event tonight, which made it meant for a good match because either guy, nobody could flip. But if, say, one of us did, and we, you know, the, I'm sorry to say the knack knack's not going to work out there. What the heck? It just seems like a whip, a seatbelt or something. I'm sure you got I actually was trying, like, I found out because I was pretty last minute on com coming to Supercross, being able to get in, so. They gave me the opportunity to get into speed and style, so I went two days to Feist and, and, and uh, Nate Adams' house, and like Jeremy said, my knack max wasn't, I wasn't really feeling comfortable, you know what I mean? I, I didn't really feel like that could be a gold medal, and the heel clickers are just out of style these days, so uh, I'll just wait until next year, hopefully something will come. It looks fun, like it would be fun to ride the ramps, because we all love to do that, but being racers, it's a little hard to... We don't want to look too dumb out there. You're not. You're not used to like keeping the bike away from you. You know, like in motocross, you're intense. You're with your bike the whole time, gripping onto it, and it's a little like it's total opposite to have your bike away from you. And I don't know. I'm not used to it. this guy can do a seeker, so he's got more. Um, I think all of us. It just seems the way speed and style works. The race is almost having an advantage because when they add it together, you go a lot quicker. It kind of makes up for not doing a flip or something. Yeah, but you know what? It seems like the. It seems like it should be. It, I don't know how they judge it, but a racer guy is going to be able to pull away from a freestyle guy, you know? And But when you just go do a whip and, or a cross-up or something, it just seems kind of like the freestyle guy should get a lot more points because he can flip, so uh, or it's, it it's hard, you know? I mean, anything at a judge sport is pretty hard, so uh, it's fun to watch, though. Travis, once again, kind of blew it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure he's disappointed, but it's fun to watch. Jeremy, I've got one more. Sure. In, in 06 at your race here, this is where you broke your neck. Was any thoughts coming through your head on coming back to here? No, you know, I mean, I, I attributed some of that stuff to just, I had too much on my plate, you know. I was trying to be a be writer, be promoter, be everything. And, uh, you know, it was just a lot of my mind. And that's, I've had a, it's been a long time since that happened. And obviously I'm 100% healed. So, uh, you know, I... I try not to put myself in a position like that. I'm, I'm constantly thinking, and I was way more focused this time. I, I haven't raced in a while, so it was exciting to be back on the track, and I was really pretty surprised, actually. I'm pretty surprised to be up here, to be honest. You look back, so just from the book of truck racing, or? No, it's from being tired. I was, uh, you know, I think Josh Summy was behind me. He passed me. Hill was behind me. And at first, I was trying not to let Josh Hansen get away. And, uh, you know, because I knew if I could just try and stick with him, I'd have a lot easier time with it. Um, you know, about the halfway point, I was just like, oh, man, it's only halfway. So, uh, you know, like I said, I was pretty slow in the sweeper. I was being cautious. And 
I'm not going to take it. These days, I'm not going to take it over the edge. You know, I got a family and stuff like that. I don't need to wreck myself. So, uh, just, just trying to be smart and it worked out. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't even have a ride right now. I mean, well, the contract hasn't been signed, so definitely, I think uh, it's something I needed to get my foot back in the door. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's hard. I, you know, I went from time for a championship in 05 to 06, not showing my face to 07, everybody forgetting about. Man, in 08, getting fired. It's just like, are you kidding me? Like, what more could happen? So it's definitely, I needed it. And uh, I don't know. It was, it was, it was definitely, it was a good opportunity. And, uh, and uh, it was cool to be here. So what did you do? Well, I just, I actually, I found, I mean, Troy Lee actually gave me the opportunity to ride a bike. And then it was kind of up to, to Eric Kehoe to take a chance on me. And I was honestly didn't really think it was going to happen, you know. But uh, it was cool of them. And then, uh, I, honestly, I, I worked my butt off. <laughs> I did. I did, you know, what I could. And then I, I've never really been a trainer guy. And I did train the last few weeks for this race. And, I'm glad to see it pay off, and uh, I don't know. You know, the only people that that have been paying me right now is, is Metal Militia. You know, those guys have been awesome to me, and I got to thank them. They're they're the dudes that are paying my bills right now, so uh, I'm stoked uh, to to definitely jump start, and you got to keep them. Yeah, definitely. I, it was it's good. I, I just need to keep the momentum and and, and make it happen where it counts. That's right. So it's good to have that. Uh, next, I, I you know I don't really know. It's kind of up in the air on who I signed for, and then uh, it's been talks like they got Dubai, the World X Games coming up, and then uh, got Vegas U.S. Open that's coming here soon, and uh, so and then the Supercross is starting. So I'm thinking that's the plan so far. Any other questions? Okay. Good job, man. Thanks, Sean. Congratulations. Congratulations. You get there.